first open terminal and install GNOME tweaks. Before you hit enter, check the following boxes from softwares and updates. Install and then open the browser. Please don't judge me for using Chrome. This is a customization video. A reminder, you can use any browser of your choice. Search for GNOME Shell extensions. Install the extension first. Search for the floating dock and enable the extension. Now we need a very transparent theme. Let's go for material transparent theme. Now install the dependencies. Now get the clone, change the directory and install as shown. Now let us get a dark gradient for the background. Now we are going to install a modified version of Mutter. This is Mutter Rounded and I use the same window manager for the cinnamon customization video that is based on glass morphism. And this theme that I'm going to create is also based on the glass morphism effect. I'm trying to create a dark version of that same thing. Now uh, this same effect can be achieved with the blur me extension on GNOME but uh, Motor around it feels much more reliable, it feels more smoother and better than using the extension blur me. So follow the instructions and run the installer script which does all the work for you. If you get missing packages just install them manually using apt. After the script runs you are going to be left with a couple of deb or dep files. Now install them all using the command as I have shown. Now, you, uh, let us get to the settings app for motor rounded from where you can change all the parameters. Install the dependencies and copy and paste the install guide script. Now open the settings app for Mutter as shown. As you can see, nothing works. We need to log out and log back in for everything to work properly. After logging out and back in, everything works as expected. You can change an array of options from here as shown. You get to see an interesting tab there that is the blur. You can add apps of your choice and it will blur any transparent part of that app. Well, you need to restart the app for it to work.
Now let us apply the transparent material theme and then add the windows for blurring in the motor settings page. Now you can tweak with the settings to achieve what is pleasing to your eyes. Now let us install the Cora icon themes. Now it is time to apply the icon pack. After applying as you can see the theme is all set and you get a very beautiful looking desktop that is inspired by the glass morphism effect. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful then do like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.